EdTech is an educational technology sector. EdTech companies provide numerous services to university staff and students, including conducting experiments in virtual labs or reading digital books. As well as this, EdTech companies collect data with the aim of personalizing learning and automating processes or produce business analytics for university leadership to make decisions and manage institutions. Universities use EdTech to support the student experience and improve the organisation. However, there are tensions and challenges in the university sector when engaging with EdTech, and these have been identified by Janja Komlenovic, Sam Seller and Keen Birch in the ESRC-funded research project Universities and Unicorns, Building Digital Assets in the Higher Education Industry. First, EdTech is said to support efficiency but it can require excessive resources, time and work. This leads to unnecessary strain on the already stretched academic and professional staff. Second, a lot of data is collected by universities through EdTech. However, not much of this data is actually analysed and made useful. This is partly because there is a lack of knowledge about how to use the data, which can lead to poor decisions. Third, there is a broader issue in relation to competing technology companies. Older, larger technology companies dominate the sector, meaning it is more difficult for smaller, newer companies to challenge the status quo. Fourth, EdTech requires data from universities to provide an analytics service. However, increasingly, a small number of technology companies control this data and universities are forced to pay increasingly higher prices for services. Fifth, universities may find themselves locked into particular EdTech software paying increasing costs. This is because they need stable technology that runs without interruption, but it does limit the choice of technology that universities can adopt. Sixth, staff and students don't have much say in what EdTech products they use and what analytics are used to impact their learning and work, how they are used and by whom. However, the ability to address or resolve these challenges presents exciting opportunities to improve higher education.